Okay, everyone, welcome to Lextorials. Um, I'm Sedom, and I'm going to teach you just a few um, important grammar points today, and they're very useful. Like, you can use them in many different situations. So, I hope that you find it um, helpful to you. So, 오늘은 간단하게 되게 유익한 중요한 문법, 영어 문법 좀 가르치도록 하겠습니다. So, we are gonna learn about since and for. Since and for. So since is used with a specific day, a date, or time. Since is used with a specific day, date, or time like yesterday, last year, 2010, last week. That's a specific date or time. Since then, 정확한 날짜 나 시간에 대해서 말할 때 사용하는 겁니다. So, for example, I've been living in Korea since 2014. 한국말로 2013년부터 한국에서 살았어요. So, since the specific date, 2014. Next, for. If we look at for, it's different from since. It's used with an amount of time. So, four is with an amount of time. Six years, two weeks, three days, five minutes, five hours. Specific amount. Four then. 기간에 대해서 말할 때 사용하는 거예요. For example, I've been in Korea for six years. 한국에 온지 6년이 됐어요. So let's look at some more examples and try to see if you can guess which is the correct sentence. Yeah. So first one is I've been at home since yesterday or I've been at home for yesterday. Which one? Okay, and the correct answer is A. All right, so A is the correct answer. Let's look at the next example. Jeju도에 온지 2주 되었어요. A, I've been on Jeju Island since two weeks ago. Or B, I've been on Jeju Island for two weeks. Which one is it? It is B, right? B is the correct answer. I've been on Jeju Island for two weeks. Uh, you can use the, uh, the grammar ago, but you have to change the sentence to say, I came to Jeju Island two weeks ago. That's the same meaning, but different way to say it. Next example, 며칠 동안 계속 다이어트 하고 있었어요. A, I've been on a diet for a few days. B, I've been on a diet since a few days. Which one is it? It's A, right? I've been on a diet for a few days. Few is also an amount of time, and so that's why you use for. Last example. So, 작년부터 영어 배우기 시작했어요. A, I've been, oh, sorry. The Korean is wrong on this one, but skip the Korean. Let's just read the English example. So, I've been at school. 4, 8 a.m. B, I've been at school since 8 a.m. Which one is it? Right. B, 
I have been at school since 8 a.m. It's a time or a date that you have done something since. So you use since, not for. Right. So those are all our examples. Um, if you have any questions, um, then you can leave them in the comments if you're watching on YouTube, or you can send a chat um, to the this, this Zoom uh, video call. So you can send a chat with your question, or you can leave a comment on YouTube. So uh, I hope that that was helpful for you because I think that we use expressions like this all the time. So remember, since is with a specific date, time, for is an amount of time. So that's how you can remember. Um, if you're interested in a more of these um, short tutorials, then I hope that you'll stay tuned for the next one because um, you can do this. You can do, <laughs> you can be good at English, so fighting. Um, also, if you're interested in having a one-on-one -on -one language partner, please um, send your uh, email address to the Zoom group chat, or you can send an email to the, the YouTube channel as well. And we'll try to find you um, a great a language partner that you can practice language with. You can also find a lot more um, language learning videos that are fun and useful on our YouTube channel, Language X. So type in language and then just put an X at the end stuck together. And then you'll, you'll find Language X YouTube channel and you can watch a bunch of helpful content. Well, thank you and see you next time. Bye.